guys, uh, my name's Adam if this is your first time here and today we're going to be talking about Blackfish. This is a CNN made documentary about orcas basically. Uh, it specifically focuses on one named Tilikum. This is the orca that you've probably heard of uh, in the news just a few years ago. Uh, it's the one responsible for killing one of its trainers. Um, the, it was the one where the girl had a ponytail and supposedly the orca grabbed onto it and uh, killed her. Um, I specifically, what I remember about this uh, was the people kept coming on and saying she would want everyone to know that it was a trainer error. And then I do remember one instance where someone said, no, I, I don't think she would want people to think that and she, you know, she was very careful and I don't think it was an operator or a trainer error. Um, with that said, uh, this movie does focus on that whale, but it also exposes just how terrible the conditions that these orcas have that they're living in. Uh, they're living in this captivity, um, you know, sometimes they attack each other, uh, there's, uh, there's footage of, you know, the whales bleeding and being cut up because they attack each other. Um, and they also talk about how um, in the wild, orcas have never actually killed a person. A killer whale has never killed anyone in the wild, but in captivity, it's common. Uh, that fact alone blows my mind. Um, you know, I actually had to look it up, and it turns out that, yeah, killer whales have never actually killed someone out in the wild. Um, which, like I said, it blows my mind. But apparently that's, that's true. Um, the other thing that blew my mind about this is Tilikum has killed three people. Um, I always thought that if an animal kills a person, that's kind of it. You know, not to sound heartless, but that animal has to be put down or destroyed. Um, and, you know, I know it's a whale, but, I mean, in this documentary they do mention that these whales are worth millions of dollars, and it is kind of disturbing that this company may have kept this whale alive because of the cost, despite the fact that it has killed an employee and then killed another employee and then killed another one, even though they are of different companies. Um, with that said, that brings me to my sort of gripe with this movie. Um, my biggest gripe with this movie is the fact that it's a CNN movie. Um, CNN, or sorry, SeaWorld, has come out and um, SeaWorld's response to this movie was to say that it clearly exploits death and the people featured in the documentary are severely misquoted. Um, there's another documentary entitled Death Grip that came out in 2007, was made by CNN as well, the exact same criticism in that movie. It exploited the death of professional wrestler Chris Benoit and severely misquoted some of the people in it, specifically John Cena. Um, he was asked about steroid use. He said, absolutely not. I do not use that. And I know that you'll never listen to what I say or um, you know, be able to accept what I say, but you have to believe me. Um, and I'll never be able to tell you that I don't do steroids, but you'll never be able to prove that I do no matter what steroid test that I take. CNN edited that clip to say, um, I can't say that I don't do steroids, but you'll never be able to prove that I do. I would like to put that clip into this video, but I don't want to deal with the BS of, uh, you know, YouTube's recent copyright rampant rampage. So I'm just going to leave a link down in the uh, description below. You can check out that clip and see just how uh, fair and unbiased CNN can be with their editing. Um, and just keep that in mind when you hear people say in this documentary that they were misquoted. It's not sort of, you know, how bad could it be you set it into a camera. It can sometimes be uh, fairly, fairly skewed in the editing. Um, but really, that's pretty much all I have to say. 